A jetty is a breakwater constructed to protect or defend a harbor, stretch of coast, or riverbank. Jetties consist of mostly rocks, and they are found throughout all three sections of the Chesapeake Bay. Describe a pier. A pier is a structure leading out from the shore into a particular body of water. They are located throughout every section of the Chesapeake Bay. Animals are found throughout our habitat. The first one is a sea anemone. The, there are two types of sea anemones in the Chesapeake Bay the white or ghost anemone and the green striped anemone. The second animal is sponges. There are four types of sponge, sponge species found in the Chesapeake Bay. They spread out over pilings and rocks in various colors. The most abundant sponge, sponge is the red board sponge. Third species is a mussel. The hooked mussel attaches to almost anything, including piers, rocks, and jetties. Hooked mussels are small and dull colored. In our habitat is whip coral. They're located in higher salinity regions of the Chesapeake Bay. Whip corals within bay tributaries are usually purple and shorter than those at the mouth of the bay. Their occurrence in the bay is irregular. However, there are times when it is highly abundant. The last species is bugs. Also referred to as sea roaches, these little organisms can be found on shaded, pi shaded areas of pilings or rocks in the mid and lower bay regions. These are the five plant species that are in our habitat. Raphiliodites are a small group of mainly marine genera of phytoplankton. They are single-celled and flagella. Didymo, a type of algae that forms dense mats at the bottom of freshwater streams, is an invasive species. Sea lettuce is a type of algae that grows in thin, green, wavy-edged sheets. It can be found in shallow waters throughout most of the Chesapeake Bay. Ceritum fruca, a type of dinoflagellate, each shell is a very small and contains numerous chloroplasts. Finally, Oxyphorus marina is another type of dinoflagellate that was first identified in 1841 and contains no chloroplasts.